My opinion is different because they have to carry box, four boxes for four hours every day. Twelve books. I think my my opinion is different because in my in my um my country family, they have to carry six hundred books a day from May to to October, and some of the kids they they just get the books at the beginning of the year. And the, Rest of the year, they just read the, maybe they read the same book over and over again. My opinion is that there are four by four trucks, so only in one class. I think here it says in Papua New Guinea, no roads lead to remote jungle hamlets or to the school that serve them. So it's more like saying they have to go to other places in order to get to the school. That means they have to cut in the, in the passage, it says that. They go to the jungle to Rogi Agi, which means up and down the road. The roads go up and down. And that when they run out of fuel, that's when they stop. But the but then, but there are other people, it says this, but the volunteers aren't done yet. They still have to reach a further destination deeper in the jungle. That's when they reach Rogi Agi. So that's, so that's what I'm saying. When they can start carrying the boats, they have to bring it to, to their to the school and they have to do it every day, night, winter, fall, storm, rain. I think mine is harder. I think mine is harder. Not done yet. Not done yet. And it also says that in Papua New Guinea lies into the Pacific Ocean. It consists of around 800 islands just north of, the, of Australia and east of Indonesia. Thailand is a hard place because not many people can read or write, so they don't really tear, carry around books. But that stopped when uh, elephants started to carry around books. But each person needed, they needed to go to 37 villages each time they go around in their land. So when they go to each 37 villages, providing services for almost 2,000 people in the Okami region.